Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 9.30 in the morning on January 25th, 2021, and I am sorry for being a little bit late. Uh, normally, I want to post these a little earlier, but uh, today I didn't go to work. It was kind of like a snow day for me. Um, between where I work and where I live, there's like this huge mountain thing called the Cone Pass that you have to drive through. And anytime there's any sort of snow or rain, that shit gets closed down. And that's basically what happened this morning. Um, as of right now, the sun is out and the ice and snow is melting. And it looks like there's no more traffic. So and I was thinking about going back to work. Um, because honestly, man, I felt kind of like shit a little bit. Because, you know, I did so well in December. If you guys have been keeping up with my story or with me or whatever, that, you know, in December I worked my ass off. I had like 60 hour work weeks. I, I you know, I had attendance things going on that I, you know, I was basically had no days off, nothing, nothing, nothing. And uh, in January, everything kind of changed. And now I have like more attendance points and time and hours that I can use. But I feel as I feel like I've been kind of going a little too hard with, um, using those points and hours or whatever. So I feel a little shitty today about it. So I'm thinking about going back to work, but uh, I talked to my wife. I decided not to um, just because it's just is what it is. I'm already home and there's no sense in, you know, worrying about it. Uh, I'm not being irresponsible, but it just doesn't feel great, I guess. And I'm trying not to get in my head about it. So that's why I decided to do this right now. Um, even though it is, you know, from my room and not how I want the Monday morning moment things to go. Uh, for those who don't know, I want to start this new series every Monday morning where I will stream on Instagram and then I'll upload it here to YouTube and just kind of talk to you, talking to you guys about how the weekend went uh, or just like, I don't know, something on my mind. So uh, now that I've explained basically nothing for two minutes, uh, I guess I could say what we did this weekend was my wife's family came over and they kind of did their whole Christmas um, experience or whatever because of COVID. We weren't able to do it back in a few weeks ago. Um, that was really nice. I'm starting to to see this like level of family relationship I'm getting, I'm getting with them. Like uh, I used to be very nervous and anxious around my in-laws and stuff like that. But now it just feels like like family is over and it's really weird and good definitely good it's just kind of you know never something i've been accustomed to but it's definitely good um i noticed i was actually holding my alcohol very well until later in the night there was something that happens when i'm the last person drinking or awake and everybody else is asleep where this demon comes out and just wants to just drink and drink and drink and if you guys were watching my live stream uh, like two nights ago at like three in the morning, I barely remember it and I highly regret it, man. I fucking hate getting so drunk that I start live streaming nonsense. So it sucks, man. I'm still having a lot of problems with alcohol. I'm still having, I don't know if I'd say problems. I'm still having issues that are really annoying to me. And honestly, I don't want to drink anymore. Like I really do not want to, I would lo love to just stop, but it gets complicated because like my wife is, is the most important person to, in my life. Without her, I would be a huge piece of shit. I would not be who I am right now. She has totally saved me and put things into an amazing perspective for me. And I respect her so much. So, so I say that because like I said, I don't necessarily want to drink at all. I could see myself stopping even forever. Um, my wife, on the other hand, enjoys having a drink. She doesn't wild out like I do. Uh, on occasion, she might. But, you know, it, it's so it makes it complicated, dude. Like, I don't want to have this weird relationship with my wife where she wants to have, <coughs> excuse me, like friends over to, for, for drinks or whatever. And then I have to, and then I end up being like this weirdo who doesn't drink. I just, it's just a different vibe and a different, I don't know, life, I guess. And it's almost like I feel bad for even putting her in this position. She totally understands. She tells me all the time, you need to stop drinking. You need to just stop. You know, if you don't want to, don't, 
You know, I'm not going to push you to do nothing. Um, but then it just makes things complicated because if I don't, then it feels like to me, like I'm not totally present in some moments. You know, I'm not on the same level or vibe or energy as other people in certain moments. And uh, on top of that, it kind of messes with my head too. You know, like you start thinking like, fuck, why does everybody have to be drunk all the time? And then when you're the sober person, everybody who's drunk feels is just super annoying. There's a lot of weird complications to it. It's definitely not such an issue to a point where like it's an, a huge, a big issue, <laughs> I guess. Um, but it's just kind of a complicated situation because, you know, I don't know. Yeah, the only reason I don't want to, I, I would like to stop drinking is because on occasion I overdo it. And I don't even know if that's worthy or worth me not not drinking for good, like ever, just because I don't want to risk getting too drunk and making a fool of myself every once in a while, you know? I don't know. Maybe I'm just a little too in my head about it. But either way, it's one of the things that I learned. It was a great weekend. I, we really had a good time. Um, definitely need to start just shutting the fuck up and going to sleep when it's time to, when everybody else is asleep and it's two in the morning and three in the morning. And all I'm doing is just polishing off all the fucking beer, the last three beers that were there and opening up wine for no reason. And just, you know, that's definitely not good. Um, but I mean, at the same time I was sitting here in comfort of my own home chilling. Um, but yeah, man, I held my alcohol very well until later in the night. So I'm definitely proud of that. I'm proud that I hit up a friend, I, a friend who I hadn't talked to in a while. And um, we talked about a lot. And uh, I kind of just just reaffirmed a lot of the things I had already known about the friendship and why it was kind of tainted or whatever. Because there, there was just a lot of my own bullshit I was projecting onto this person, you know, my own shit. And... I had to let him know that, like, this is just what it is and what it, and what it was and whatever, you know, I still want to be friends, but, but like, I don't know, which we just obviously needed to, you know, be out and open with it. So I'm proud that I even invited him over. I'm proud that we had a good conversation. Um, I'm happy that I learned, you know, one of the things I've learned in this conversation and that I have been learning, I feel is, you know, it, it, just because you're in a good place doesn't mean it's your responsibility or your right to try to, I don't know, help people, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes you help, you want to help and give advice and people just don't want to fucking hear it and it gets annoying and it makes them feel like shit. And I get that. And basically the way it ended is like, look, I'm just who I am. I'm never going to not want good things for the, for my friends and family bottom line. And I'm never going to not say something that I think you need to hear. That's not the type of friendships I want, you know? So I said that, but I also said that, you know, I get that I can ease up a little bit every once in a while. And you know, the, the big issue is that the only time I ever fucking see this person is when I'm drunk as fuck. So it's like, just is what it is, man. A big part of me just wants to take a step back from friendships and things like that. And just, and, and I have, and I just want to get my shit together. So I love my friends. I love my family. I've taken a step back for the last couple of years, I guess. But now I'm starting to understand that, okay, I took my step back. I'm understanding things, but I need to take a step forward now and start um, truly, I don't know, trying with people and trying to be better on my own as well. So good lessons learned. Definitely need to chill on the alcohol consumption. Um, but at the same time, I didn't fight nobody. I didn't go to jail. Uh, I just felt like shit for a day and a half. Actually, the next day I woke up and I had, I had drink more wine to wake up and I had a mimosa, I had mimosas to wake up and that kind of felt good. I was like, okay, whatever. And then I started feeling like shit and I was like, fuck this. So what I did was I went on a run. I went for an over a three mile long run while I was still basically drunk. And uh, what the heck is all over your face, young lady? What the? Show the camera. Show the camera. What the? That's the kid makeup, right? Okay. <laughs> Beautiful, very beautiful. Are you doing an actual live stream right now? No, I'm just recording a quick Monday morning moments video. <laughs>
What did you learn this weekend? Nothing. Nothing? What did you get for Christmas? Kid makeup and another kid of uh, kid makeup. Only kid makeup? <laughs> uh, no. LOLs. LOL dolls. A costume of Elsa. Elsa costume. You got a lot of cool stuff. And a doll of Rapunzel. And a doll of Rapunzel. That's Tangled, right? Yeah. Mm. All right, my love. Go ahead. Let me finish this and I'll be right over there, okay? We'll hang out. Okay. I want to play Fortnite. Okay, we'll play in a little bit. You got l lipstick on me now? <laughs> you did? What the? <laughs> Oh, uh, you're crazy. Uh, but yeah, so it's like I said, it's been good. It's good. It's all good. It's just even those little small moments is kind of what I want to talk about on this series. So Monday mornings, you guys can see me here. Follow me on Instagram, audible underscore 484. Um, and I'll go live on Mondays. But yeah, like I was saying, I ran over three miles while I was still drunk from the night before. And if I didn't do that, I think that I would have gone into a really bad, depressing spiral. And um, as hard as it was to jog while still basically drunk, I did it. And it was hard, but I did it, and I felt good, and it still feels good. And I'm excited to go run today in whatever's left of the snow. And, um, yeah, man, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a great year so far. And um, I will just see you guys next time. Much love. Peace. <laughs>